Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the YouTube video and in today's video we're gonna have a look at everything new in the new Bloodstrike update that literally just dropped. So, without further ado, let's hop into the patch notes, let's see what's new and of course, let's see what we can expect for the upcoming weeks because I think they are actually cooking up some things. Let's go. Alright, so we have the Bloodstrike update announcement September 26, which is today's date. We have Trick or Treat coming soon. So what they say is the party is just around the corner. Nacho is inviting you to join the fun with his mystery candy. Are you up for the biggest celebration ever? On October 17th, we're kicking off a series of exciting events with new rewards, fresh gameplay, and tons of content. Dress up in your pumpkin costume and join us for an unforgettable night. Guys, I cannot be like i'm actually so excited about this like trick or treat halloween it's a different vibe it's a different kind of celebration and this is definitely a good way to hype us up giving us some teasers here and there let me know if you guys are excited in the comments down below up next we have performance optimizations we've been monitoring bloodstrike performance on mobile devices and this update focuses on improving the following aspects fix the issue where the frame rate dropped while moving fix the issue where the frame rate dropped when enemies fired and we've optimized the frame rate performance for armor break and recovery in low graphic settings okay this is super super nice to see because as we all know there has been massive massive problems around frame rates so any Anyone that had frame rate issues in the past couple of weeks you should definitely try bloodstrike out again and uh, give another try it looks like they actually did some major fixes on this so uh, that is a huge huge w up next we have a new visual interfaces such as personal info leaderboard and more have been fully revamped with a sleek and futuristic look a perfect blend of fashion and sci-fi so let's dive in and explore the next level of gaming vibes more system updates are on the way and we hope you enjoy them this is really really cool i will show the interface after we're done with the patch notes so stick around and uh, we're gonna discover it together they've also done voice optimizations they have new exclusive voice lines for nova emma and kind are here let's fight alongside of them i really really like this because these are the small things that will make bloodstrike a great game adding more personality to characters, giving them more voice lines, and making the game more relatable. I think that's very, very good. We have some new arrivals up next. We have the new Eternal M700 skin, Seraph is here. A versatile weapon that can slice through obstacles or transform into a shield of light, embodying justice and protection. Seraph Eternal Stash is coming on September 27th, which is tomorrow, or for the Aegis server that is actually a few hours from now. And up next, we have like a meteor streaking across the sky, the blade leaves behind stunning trails of light, glowing brightly as if power were channeling in the dark. The new ultra melee weapon, Light Blade Dark Force, is coming on October 4th. Unlock the skin and get instant access to all features. Plus, don't miss out on the ultra skin Ethan Dark Walker. Okay, okay, my boy Ethan is getting a brand new Ultra skin. That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh, and it's called Dark Walker. So we are definitely, definitely heading to the dark side of Blood Strike with the Halloween vibes. This is really, really cool. Oh my god. Up next, we have the Ultra AK-47 skin. Hellbound is back on September 26th, which is now. It was supposed to be uh, coming back last night, but it didn't. But I assume that with this update, we're going to have it in the shop. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, we have the Hellbound skin over here. And here we go, guys. We're going to have a quick look at it. Uh, so this is the default appearance. We have the kill broadcast. Muzzle fire. We have tracer ammo. And then we also have the hit effect. Okay. Um, okay. So that is what's in it. Let's see what else is in this stash. We have a URB uh, impaler over here, which looks very, very cool. Uh, very similar to the AK and the M4 that we have. And then we also have a few other things in here. Uh, very, very nice camo actually that is in this stash. I really, really like it. Uh, very, very nice. This looks really, really cool. I really like this camo. Personally, I'm not going to cop this skin because I'm saving my gold for the Eternal Stash. But for those of you who don't have a nice AK skin, this is your chance. Up next, we have the Unleash the Power of Venom. The Venom skin for Kala and Desert Eagle arrive on October 7th. And I assume that this is going to be very similar to the M4 Venom skin and the AR-97 Venom skin. So these are skins that are coming to the game. It's not mentioned how they're going to be coming back. Are they going to be coming up in uh, stashes in like a guarantee stash? Maybe a super sale? I don't know guys we'll have to see and then we have the new rep stash lionheart is coming soon stay tuned and this is a stash that you can get with the reputation points that you have in game similar like the one that we have 
right now. Now, up next, we have a super sale. Submit to the power of Asgard. The Scar Frostbite is coming on September 30th for only 2.99 gold. So that is, I think, on Monday. Uh, so on Monday, we will have a new super sale for the Scar. Very, very nice. And up next, we have some system optimizations. They have optimized the in-game button styles for mobile devices. They have optimized the mission display for mobile devices. They have added a new emote button for you to show off cool emotes in the lobby, which is very, very nice. I like that. Optimize the item grade label design. They've improved the interaction of the upgrade button in the weapon recommendation, AI recommendation windows. Players can now easily upgrade their weapons using weapon XP cards. And they have also added a team chat channel for smoother communication with your teammates. The chat interface now displays more detailed info about regions and weapons of the Ace Shooter title. So that is very, very cool. They have also done some bug fixes. They have fixed the issue where the Season Rewards countdown wasn't showing up. Thanks for your love and continued support. We hope you enjoy every moment in Bloodstrike like we do signed the bloodstrike development team all right so when you first log into the game after the update this is the first thing that you see as you guys can see we have a new weapon teased and we all know which weapon that is it's the car 98k and it's gonna be absolutely amazing new sniper rifle for people that are not familiar with the name and we also have a new visual on the leaderboard so let's have a look at that uh the hellbound skin is now also in the game Okay, yeah, that looks definitely, definitely clean. Uh, you can definitely see that they are streamlining the UI um, to, you know, uh, what uh, they did before, what they did previously. So that looks very, very cool. You can now easily uh, swap as well between, like, uh, your region, your server. Very, very nice. Anyway, that's a wrap, guys. I've covered everything that is new in today's update. And we also got some major, major teasers of what is to come in October. But also, we've got a new weapon. We got a new striker pass coming. We got a new event coming. We got new night map changes coming. And we also have a Steam release that is announced very, very soon. If you look up Bloodstrike on Steam right now, uh, you can actually find the game. And it says release is coming very, very soon. Now, my personal guess would be that this release is going to be alongside the major october event maybe i'm wrong that's just my guess but i really really hope so anyway i hope you guys have a great day ahead of you thank you for watching thanks for the support and if you're not subscribed yet please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on because we are going to be opening up the m700 very very soon and you don't want to miss it all right i'll see you guys in the next one